Hey, what is going on guys? Alpha Gamer 12 here with another episode of the TFT Road to Glory. And today guys, uh, you guys can clearly see that um, my whole setup is working, hopefully, because I have the webcam up, I have the webcam overlay, and uh, we have everything going the way that we want. Hopefully this records properly and it's all good. So, can accept the match. Hopefully it goes through. Please do, if you do. And switch over here and then hopefully we should get the screen yeah there you go beautiful we get the screen coming up yes no i'm hoping yeah there you go okay cool so today we're playing game number three of our tft um promos the promotion series no not is it promos it's the first like where they place you, placements, that's what it's called, placements. So we're playing our 10 placement games, we've played two of them so far, finished third in the second one, which wasn't too bad, and today we're gonna do a much slower, much um, more um, like in the moment video, because we're gonna be talking about it live, and I'm gonna be talking you guys through what I'm trying to do, and hopefully, hopefully, we can finish first. I have no guarantees, because this is a learning uh, series for me just as much as is for you guys. So let's just uh, hope this goes well. Galactic Armory. All players start with two completed items. I have not played this one before, so we'll have to see about that. Let's go for the ability power. All right, so hopefully this is all good. And I'm hoping it's recording the audio but i'm not really sure the game audio i mean okay so does it is it the same all across the board does everyone get the tank items yes everyone gets tank items so everyone wants malphite whoever picked up malphite or even leona actually is in really good shape here oh poppy with those items is ridiculous okay so because we got two tank items to begin the game we definitely want to go with a setup where we have a champion who can take advantage of that. Alright, so we want to carry here. Hmm, that sucks. Okay, what do people have? It's a bit early to know exactly what people are going for, but um, I'm looking through, and it's looking like Celestial might be okay. No guarantee, because I did see a couple of people with Zin Zhao's, but it should be not too big of a deal. We should be okay here. All right, when they both ulti, we'll be in good shape. They'll just die very quickly. Okay, cool. So we, okay, that is even better, because we got the, um, what's his name? Cassidy for the Celestial. Throw him in there. And honestly, wait, who? So until we get one of our tanks, what we can do here is throw the Malphite in and just give them both items. No problem. Um, Morello, we don't care about. Six Herald, we don't care about. Let's see what we get here. If we can get a Warmogs, we'll basically just have someone who just doesn't die. Because they'll just be so ridiculously tanky. Warmogs is two of these giant spells, by the way. I mean, they could also just do what they just did and do us really dirty and not give us any items. But I would have preferred it if it didn't do that. Okay, so we have Mana Reaver, Blade Master. I mean, let's see what people have. If I want to win early here, someone's going Celestial. Hmm. So he's going Celestial that let's just go for that because we're gonna sell him anyway might as well just make him as big as we possibly can right now we're still gonna lose this but it's not like we could have got econ anyway i don't mind going on a losing streak um I'm trying to think what can we do here I'm gonna grab the re and maybe we go star guardians but i need the poppy if i get the poppy for the star guardians we're in really good shape
Alright, so I wanted to lose. Well, though I wanted to lose only a little bit. I wanted to lose by like, lose 1 HP. But I will take winning, I guess. That's fine too. Not like I could've stopped that anyway. Okay. So, mm, that sucks. Because I don't want any of those. Um, it really wants me to take this Darius. I don't know why. Um, I mean, I have both of them here. I like that. Yeah, I think that's fine. Go Gunblade on Darius as well. Okay, that should be fine to maybe win. Maybe not, okay. He's got a really strong team. That Poppy's not gonna die. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Sorry about the uh, camera for a second. Alright, so we lose this, which sucks. But the Poppy is so strong, man. Uh, okay, I mean, if... Uh, I mean, she does do true... Oh god, look at that shield, man. That's disgusting. Ari just drew damage on the way back on her orb, so we might have had a chance, but... Okay, oh. the good thing is at least we have first four choices here. I'm looking at the Syndra and thinking yes, but then I also looked at the Ari and think also yes. Um, because of the mana. Mana is so good on Star Guardians. Oh yes, give me the, give me the Ari. Thank you. Even though the Syndra would have been pretty good. It's fine. So... Possibly, we keep Darius and we keep Graves and we we make Darius super tanky. Darius is kind of tanky to begin with, but we put those two items on the Darius as well. Though maybe actually it's better to put the Sword Breaker on the Graves. And then eventually we'll sell them when we have a tankier setup. I'm thinking that that is probably the way to go. That's pretty good. Sell the Malphite. Go... Actually, you can just go full tank graves, honestly. I have no problem with that. Grab the extra Annie. And we can keep him because there's no way for us to actually get um, Econ anyway. I don't want redemption. I thought I was going to give you my Arlos. But that's lo um, AP plus health. Yeah. Okay. So this is fine right now. We maybe win, we maybe don't. Oh god, I hate the poppy. The sword, the sword breaker is it? Yeah, the sword breaker on the Lucian is really good. Okay, Darius healed a lot from that actually. He was able to like sustain his health for a while. Okay. Um, yeah, I definitely lose this as well. Not too hard, but I definitely lose it. Actually, no, that is pretty hard. I was hoping that Graves would be able to kill the Blitzcrank, but fine okay I don't like any of those options none of them help me actually twisted fate is fine I can grab the twisted fate for the uh, sorcerer bonus I could go for sorcerer here but I don't really want to put that on Darius as well just make him a little more tanky because right now we're just trying to survive a little bit longer I'm fine with going on uh, continuing our lost streak here no problem um, I'm gonna sell him. I don't care about him. There's nothing that we're pr actually. I could have kept him because he'd increase our chances of getting the Syndra. Are you serious, dude? Why? That's so annoying that someone else has decided to go with a sorcerer and um, what's it called? Not just sorcerer, sorcerer and uh, I wish Ari could have gotten another ulti off. Not ulti, but another. I guess it's Q, really. Um, yeah, she's not gonna have the mana. But that's okay. So I'm thinking about Econ here and thinking if we want to go for the full interest, get all 50 in the bank, or if we want to try to do something right now because we have just started a win streak. We don't want to be flip-flopping because that's bad for our money. 
So maybe it's worth not getting the uh, like overall income to set that up. And I think that is what I'm going to do here. So we throw the Darius in. And I'm kind of thinking red buff, but I'm also kind of thinking Warmogs. Both of them are really good. Overall, I think Warmogs is a little bit better. For whatever we end up having as our super tank in this, I don't want Frozen Heart. If we, we figure out what champion we want to be super tanky, if we can find the Poppy, that'll be really good. Um, additionally, we could put it on Rumble. We could go Mech as the secondary. We could go Star Guardian Mech. I kind of like that idea. But we'll have to see. Because mm, we'll still have to find the Poppy in that case. Okay, that's really good from Darius. Yeah, we'll see. If we can find the Poppy... Let's see if we can't roll and find the Poppy. If we can just find the Poppy, it'll be worth it. Because we need to find three. If we just find three Poppies, we're fine. That's all we care about. I don't want to do that. Let's just re-roll a little bit before the chances of getting that become really low. Because they're already kind of low. We can grab the Darius, grab the Nico, and grab the uh, Zoe. And then we can just chill like this. We're fine right here. Clump these four together at the back and then let those two mega tanks go at the front. Throw the chain vest on him as well. Just because we're going to be selling both of them anyway. I don't want to keep them in the team. Once we can get the opportunity to get them out of the team, I will. But they're probably going to stay for a good while. Probably what we want to add here. Oh god, that was so good from Darius. Probably what we want to add next to our team is... Um, oh, Darius is dead, which sucks. But we still win this, I think, pretty hard. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. That's really good for us. So, what I'm trying to say is what we want to transition into next is we want to try to find the Fizz and we want to try to find the... Um, What's the rumble if we find fizz and rumble we can add them in and then we can phase out the other two the darius and the uh, uh graves so i'm looking at this and i'm thinking i don't have any mana items down here so i'm thinking we grab that i was gonna change it and grab the nico but i actually i don't actually know which one is better nico or zoe with the Chalice of Valor. Because they're going to level now. I should have grabbed the Nico and sold her and made the Ari have the Chalice. Though realistically, we want the Chalice on the uh, Syndra. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's fine. Chalice is an item that you can build. And what that item does is um, every time one champion uses their spell, it gives champions around them mana as well so that they can they use their spell as well when your mana bar fills up you might you get mana by auto attacking by doing damage um when it fills up then you get to use your spell so it gives mana so that we can use our spells more frequently let's do one reroll here i'll grab Cinder. it's fine if we're gonna be a little low actually get rid of both of them get the econ there's no reason to not have econ if we can yeah, leave those two there no problem all right, this is looking kind of bad. He's got Blade Master. Doesn't have the Rebel, actually. Okay, I changed my mind. That wasn't so bad. But that Kale does do mega damage, I will admit. Okay. All right. So I realized that I'm kind of neglecting talking for people who don't really know what TFT does about what these things that I'm building are. So we can talk about the comps a little bit. I'm hoping to do this kind of in the same way um, as if anyone watches Solo Nexon only when he does his um, champion like highlight kind of things where he explains the kit and stuff. I want to do that. So uh, let's do one reroll here. Yes, please. I'll take the Soraka. We have four sorcerers, so I won't take one of them out. I was thinking about it. Get out of here. Okay, cool. So basically, I want to explain what the comps that we're looking at do. So, the Sorcerer comp right here is the one that I have. Those four champions. All the champions that are highlighted are people that have the trait associated with them. So, you guys, I just explained what the spells are. Do you see how Zoe is there? When she autos a couple of times, she'll throw out a little projectile that stuns people. And that's just Zoe's spell. So, here she's going to do it in a second. See how she threw it and then that person got stunned and had a bunch of damage done to them? That's what spells do. 
Here's Darius is using his spell. Darius' spell is really special because he gets to reset it for free if he actually kills a unit when he uses it. It's the only one that acts like that. So, what our sorcerer does with this, because uh, we have four sorcerers down on the board, four people with the sorcerer um, trait down on the board, we have unlocked the 40% spell power bonus. So we get 40% extra spell power off, off of all of the people who are down on the board, right? Which is pretty good. It means that Darius is doing a bunch of extra damage, Graves is doing a bunch of extra damage, and then these four are also doing a bunch of extra damage. So that's really good. Star Guardian is the people that are highlighted right there. That's what we're going for. We're looking to get all six if we can. We still haven't found the poppy, which really sucks. I, I say that and we find her so that's really good we can grab the these two as well because they're part of the secondary comp that we're going for that i'll talk about in a minute let's just grab our gold and stuff okay cool so uh, we're one off of econ that sucks but it's fine okay cool so um our secondary is going to be this here which is the mech pilot which we have one out of um two one out of three on the board but we own two out of um how many we own two out of three sorry i don't know why i just got so confused by that i'm thinking maybe we transition now we're still missing one of them one of the star are we missing a star guardian no we're not i should have transitioned but it's fine darius is the hard carry right now so we can keep him in um yeah i'm not mm, i'm tempted to transition but i'm not sure if i want to yet we're gonna have to see what's gonna happen here i think darius maybe actually yeah just by virtue of his ultimate survived a little bit longer we win this for sure i don't think there's any way for us to lose that's really good for us uh... okay that sucked because i couldn't buy the soraka that i wanted it's okay though let's level we're gonna lose econ for it but it's worth it with an eco in just because we get to continue to protect this win streak lead we're doing really well we're at the higher end of the health so let's move on to the next one so star guardians is what we're going for as our main comp because it's going to have six people you need six to unlock the 50 total mana thing and basically what that means is remember what that chalice of harmony that i was talking about that item what that does is it just is by the champions themselves that these are these star guardians what they do is when one of them uses their ability they give all of the other star guardians that are near them 50 mana all right they give them 50 mana and we've just lost really hard which really sucks but uh it's fine it's okay we still have a lot of hp and we have a lot of gold so it's all right it's not a big problem um yeah, so that way we'll have six people who, when they use their ultimate, you give everybody else 60 mana. All right, that's really good, actually. We just got pretty much exactly what we are looking for there. Um, we still have an opportunity to get some more mana items. So what we're looking for is this dude, and we're looking for another guy called Fizz. I'm actually going to grab her. Even if it hurts our econ a little bit, I think it's, it's going to be worth it for us because it's going to give us the chance to get the fizz that we're looking for so um yeah darius and um, graves can go soon but not yet soon we'll remove them but we're not quite ready we're still a little bit attached to them because they are hard carrying us at this point okay darius i would have wished that you had picked like anyone else to use your ultimate on or whatever yeah that was even worse ultimate usage yeah we lose again because this Jarvan does not die and we have magic damage and they're taking like 50% less magic damage which really sucks we just fell down the rankings pretty far but that's actually fine oh, actually we didn't lose that much um, looking at this we want that we want the Soraka or we want the Lucian those are the two that we really care about I mean we could have gone with the Rakan as well the reason that we want these champions are well now i'm hoping that no one takes the lucian because mana is really good for star guardians um we wanted the soraka just because she's one of the star guardians get us closer to the level two soraka so we can put her in and then the last option that we wanted was wait did i say another option was there a third option no right i just wanted oh Rakan works because ability power obviously the star guardians mainly uh use spells to do damage so we would want to get as much spell power as we can i don't like any of those that's useless to me you can sell him 
and either go chalice of favor or seraphs i actually like the chalice better so we can put it on syndra that's really good for her um let's do more reroll here that's six. okay that's really good okay so now we're just looking for the fizz we find the fizz we pull the plug on those two and then it's really good it's really good if we find that all right looking at this this guy still has a really weird i guess he's just going for blade masters in general but he has really weird items on his champions the shen just did a massive like thing for him they, it was really good this mm, i don't know if we actually have the damage to kill yasuo we don't yeah that sucks because of his war mogs and his doesn't take uh magic damage that really sucks but i mean what are we gonna do let's grab that because that Remember last time how we talked about when you have a specific like uh, level of champion, it increases the chances that you have of getting that level again. So we're trying to increase the level, uh, the chance of us getting a champion called Fizz, who's a level four. So we're just gonna chill here. We don't need to do anything. QSS is actually pretty good. I actually like that. Let's go QSS because she's at the back. If there's a Blitzcrank, we just completely um, remove the Blitzcrank like his uh, ability so we're just gonna chill here until after we fight the arc raptors once we fight the arc raptors then we'll think about what our next move is hopefully we find the fizz by then because then we can make our transition all right darius respect big respect this should be pretty winnable here it might not be if uh, ash ulties we might be in trouble here okay no we're still fine all right that's really good all right, so now we have our fight with the Arc Raptors. We just want the Annie here. Um, I'm thinking. We do. There's the Fizz. Okay, cool. So we get the Fizz. Goodbye. Goodbye, Darius. And then we go for the armor, Warmogs, and Dragon's Claw. I missed, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. We should we should still win this pretty hard. Okay, so I'll explain what I just did because some people are confused. So here you guys see that we have the three mech pilots on the on the board. That's Annie, Fizz, and Rumble. Those are the three people that I've been looking for for a good period of time. Okay, that's actually not bad. I mm, I don't really care about either either of them though. So that sucks, but it's good because gave us just a bunch of gold here. So we want to go Dragon's Claw on him as well because he's Rumble is pretty tanky, and then we can go Hextech Gunblade on the Fizz because Fizz is good with damage. All right, so let's level because we have just so much gold here. That's really good. We can throw this Soraka in, and now we just level so that we can try to get our six Star Guardian. We need one more level which is the last level that we can get. And then we throw her in. We throw the Poppy in, and then we should be pretty good. All right. Mm. I don't know how this is going, honestly. It's looking like it's gonna be okay. No, actually it's not. It's not gonna be okay. This sucks. We're gonna lose. That's okay though. We lost really hard though. We're gonna take a lot of damage for that. Uh, that's really unfortunate so now uh, we're not looking for any more champions the champions that we are looking for are the ones that we already have I'll take the fizz all right so we want a level two fizz a level three rumble level three annie is anyone soraka's our only level one left which is fine um hmm. okay we're fighting kane now we can make shroud of stillness and put it Ooh, wait, Hand of Justice or Frozen Heart? Hmm. I don't like either of those on the Ari. Um, hmm. We might just go Shroud of Slowness, actually. I think that might be the best way to do it. Hmm. Our mech is not taking a lot of damage, which is good. He just did... How much is our mech done right now? Does he not display? Oh, he actually did less damage than Ari. I'm pretty surprised. But the damage taken doesn't display, but I'm sure it was a ridiculous amount. Okay, that's so good. He's full health because of his uh, regen, which is insane. That's so good for us. Okay, so we're that much closer to leveling up the Annie. 
do that. And I think we're going to go Shroud of Stillness. And we can put it on the Nico here, make her a little bit more tanky. And then that should shoot through. Is it just the first dude? No, all of them. So that should be right through the middle. And that should just... If you guys were reading it with me, it makes their mana worse. So anyone who's in the middle, we should get the most number... Oh, that sucks. Well, actually, no, we got a couple of them with it. So it just means that they're not going to use their spells for a while. So if Mech can ulti, he'll get a bunch of health back. Um, this looks like it's still maybe winnable. Mm, no, it's not. That sucks. Just hope Rumble kills the Jace. Yeah, okay, cool. That's fine then. Where did Fizz go? Did Fizz just get one shot? I guess he must have. Okay. So we should be one of the earlier choices here, are we? Not really, but it's fine. Um... I'm looking here and I'm thinking that all of these options kind of suck. Um, let's go for the Echo. And the reason that I grabbed the Echo is um, he has red buff. Red buff's pretty good. We can put the red buff on... Um, I actually don't know who I would put it on here. Put it on someone though. And he's worth six, so it's pretty good. Um, red buff, red buff, red buff. Who autos a lot? I mean, we can just give the uh, Soraka a little more HP. Oh, I should have grabbed the Zoe. What am I doing? Um, grab the Syndra. So yeah, at this point, like I said, we're just looking to get uh, level three of all of the champions that we have and level up to put the Poppy in. I think actually, if I lose again, if I lose this round, I'm gonna level up to put the, uh, what's the name, the poppy in. Oh God. We took a lot of damage. The mech just instantly died. I really didn't want Cinder to die. That sucks. Okay, yep, we're leveling then. That's fine. Do we have enough money to even do that? We should after, yeah, we get 10, we'll have enough. That sucks, but it's fine. We get the poppy, okay, that's so good. And I don't want to spend more than I have to. Okay. So we throw Poppy in. Give her this sword breaker, I guess. And I'm going to move my mech backwards slightly. Yeah, there you go. Leave Poppy. I want to fix our positioning slightly here. Okay. That should be okay now. All right. This is a mess of a bench. But it's fine. There you go. Okay. So we win we continue we lose we probably don't so um okay Syndra's doing job as long as the mech doesn't get burst down instantly like he doesn't just insta die we're okay i just need him to continue to do damage here please okay that's so good kale is dead i don't like wukong wukong sucks okay yeah we're fine here we we win this we're okay we're still in it we're still in it to win it here beautiful is he out even better okay so we need to survive a little bit longer if one more person is out we're in good shape okay i'm not going to spend my money now so that we can keep econ we get bloodthirster bloodthirster is pretty good i don't know who i'd put it on though um potentially just put it on the uh rumble i don't know because it's attack damage so i want it on the mech yeah, I think I put it on the mech, to be honest. It does make it a little bit random at that point, because we don't know which... Because the mech only gets three items, right? So it, it picks the up the three items from the champions that um, make up the mech, right? Which are Fizz, Rumble, and Annie. Um, let's put it on the Fizz. Make him a little bit more tanky. Okay. Let's... Reroll a little bit. I'm not going to get to a level 3 Fizz. We might get a level 3 Annie, though. Um, I'm not going to get that. Wait, I don't want that. I want the Soraka because we, we need the Lex level Soraka. I didn't find the Soraka. Okay. All right, so this should be okay, I hope, maybe. Are we going to be okay here? This doesn't look like a fun team to play into. 
But again, as long as the mech survives long enough that he doesn't just instantly die, we're okay. If he can ulti, this is going to make a huge difference. I think we're okay here. Though our team is getting kind of wrecked. Mm. I don't know about this. This is looking like we lose. I'm hoping we could just keep it close enough that we get one more round. Fizz ulti. Hmm. Yeah, that sucks. Okay. Sorry. Oops. We lose. Are we out? Yes, we are. We are definitely out. That sucks. Are we fifth? Yeah. Okay. Well, that really sucks. Okay. Um, minus zero LP. That's fine. We're not losing any LP, but we would like to be gaining some, hopefully, at some point in this universe. So, um, yeah, that's the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know down below how you guys are feeling about this series. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.